The Nigerian president has extended the lockdown in Nigeria for another 14 days, and it looks like not all Nigerians are happy about this. Despite Nigeria having a low record, the pandemic is still severe in many parts of the world, especially developed countries such as the UK, America, Italy, and France. Some Nigerians see the lockdown as a simple precaution, while others see it as a quick road to hunger and death. In other news, Melinda Gates expressed concern for Africa in the wake of the pandemic is not welcomed by most Nigerians and some are taking it the wrong way. Hello guys, it's Melin here from African Glitz. The Nigerian president on April the 10th extended the lockdown, but the majority of Nigerians are crying because of lack of basic essentials such as electricity and food. Despite the effort the government is making to provide food to some areas classified as the poorest, the majority of Nigerians, including celebrities who often earn their money from appearances and gigs, have begun to complain also. Popular Nollywood actor Mike Godson issued a plea to the government for aid and said the lockdown is gravely affecting his welfare. The actor penned an open letter to the vice president of Nigeria, Yemi Osibanjo, appealing for financial assistance via Instagram. While in other news, Melinda Gates, the wife of Bill Gates and the co-chair of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, expressed common concern about Africa, sparked anger among Nigerians. This came after she spoke to CNN presenter Poppy Harlow about the pandemic and the crisis facing the countries in Africa. Melinda Gates said her heart is in Africa. She expressed her worries about how the virus will affect the continent if care is not taken by the authorities. She also said the only reason why cases are low right now is most likely because there has not been wide testing of people. It's going to be horrible in the developing world. And part of the reason you're seeing the case numbers still don't look very bad is because they don't have access to very many tests. So, you know, look at Ecuador. Look at what's going on in Ecuador. They're putting bodies out on the street. You're going to see that in countries in Africa. The philanthropist fears COVID-19 is going to bite hard on the continent and she sees dead bodies in the streets of Africa if care is not taken. But some Nigerians weren't very pleased with her comment and rebuked it. One Nigerian politician who wasn't very pleased and vocal about her comment was Femi Fani Kayode. He claims Melinda's statement is spiritual. He added that Melinda Gates simply voiced the plan she and her husband has for Africa, which is to introduce a vaccine that will lower the population of of the world. A lady by the name of Belinda Gates, the wife of Bill Gates, made a statement just yesterday saying that she sees dead bodies all over the streets of Africa. Now, I want to tell you this, that there's a spiritual principle involved here. When you say you see dead bodies all over the streets of Africa, you're actually projecting that, and it's a spiritual principle. When David met Goliath in the field, Goliath spoke about what he would do to David, that he would cut him up and feed his flesh to the birds. David responded by saying that, no, I will cut off your head with your own sword and I will defeat you. And then they went into physical battle. So for every physical battle, before you enter it, there's a spiritual pronouncement. That's why you have to pronounce things before you say or do anything or before you go forward. Now, she has made her pronouncement. We know what she wants to do. We know what her husband is doing. We know what their plan is concerning their magic vaccine, which is actually designed to cull the population of the world. And I will say this to Belinda Gates and to Bill Gates. The Bible says, Who is he that saith a thing, and it cometh to pass, when the Lord God of hosts has commanded it not? It is not in the streets of Africa that you will see dead bodies. We reject it, and we return it back to you and those that sent you. We are children of the living God. There is an invisible shield over our continent and over our nation, Nigeria. That shield is the shield that has been put forward by the watchers, by the generals in God's army, by the pastors, by the intercessors. And we shall continue to pray and you shall not... Pray. Africans, however, understood what she meant in her message and concern, while others think it's horrible of her to make such a comment.
Others rebuked it with prayers and a handful demand she apologize. But this takes us back to the lockdown the government is imposing. So many Nigerians are not obeying the lockdown, while some streets in Lagos are filled with fitness enthusiasts. Markets are piled up with people who are trying to sell or buy food, while some government officials are expressing ignorance and cluelessness about the real situation of things. Because I'm a professor of science, I know how this virus moves. I know its etiology. I know transmissivity. I know its antigenicity. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because I do. I know that once you put on this mask, you already have been protected. You don't need social distancing when you are properly protected. Yeah, that's true. Because. That's true. For your mucal gland, that you secrete the mucus and the mucus. It's already from the network of coat. Without a doubt, social distancing is obviously out of the window in some countries in Africa. Is Melinda wrong for projecting how the pandemic is going to affect Africa, or is she telling the simple truth? Is it about time government officials in Africa takes this virus more seriously? See, I do not want to glorify the response of the government in power and the so-called opposition PDP, you know, because these political parties are themselves viruses, you know, that are destroying the health of our country, both physically, economically, and politically, socially, culturally. So it's the pandemic that, uh, that I'm talking about. So Let us know what you think on the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time watching our video and you enjoyed it, why not check out our channel for more African stories and news we know you would love. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.